What's going on guys, it's CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna be taking a look at the all new Amazon Fire HD 8. Now that's what they're calling it. This has actually been out for a couple months, but I've had a lot of viewers asking me to do a quick review. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick one up and test it out. Now I do wanna make this perfectly clear. I am not reviewing this as an $80 tablet. Now that's the normal price on it, $79.99. I actually got mine on sale for $49.99 and those sales happen all the time on Amazon. So I'm reviewing this as a $50 tablet and for 50 bucks, it's definitely worth it. So the tablet hasn't changed much from the last Fire HD. We do get dual stereo speakers here and they actually sound really good. Moving around to the top, we have our power button, micro USB for charging and sync, a small pinhole microphone, 3.5 millimeter audio jack and our volume rocker. One thing I really like to see on these lower end tablets is the support for a micro SD card. And this one will support up to a 400 gigabyte card. We have a little slot here. I just placed a 32 gigabyte card in here and I set it as internal storage. So all of my apps are now running from the SD card and you need to make sure you get a pretty fast SD card. It'll let you know if you have a really slow card, but it'll also allow you to use it. And then you're gonna run into some problems with loading stuff. It's just gonna take forever. I'll give you a quick rundown on the specs. This is known as the all new Fire HD tablet from Amazon. For the CPU, we have a MediaTek MT8163, quad core Cortex A53 at 1.3 gigahertz. As for RAM, we get 1.5 gigabytes of LPDDR3. The GPU is a Mali T720 MP2. This isn't a top of the line GPU, but it will do 3D games decently for the price we paid. 16 gigabytes of internal storage, plus like I mentioned, you can add up to a 400 gigabyte micro SD card, and the display is eight inches, 1280 by 800. It is an IPS display and it looks pretty good. The problem is they're using some type of plastic or glass over here that has a lot of glare on it. So you're gonna get some glare from lights. If you're sitting on your couch, you might get reflection from a light behind you or a light above you. That's really my only gripe with this tablet. Initially, this tablet only has access to the Amazon App Store, but you are able to install Google Play and I've done a tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description. That's where I'm getting all of my apps from. Now you might run into some apps that are not available on the Google Play Store, like Netflix. You will have to download that through the Amazon App Store. So right off the bat, this is an awesome tablet for younger children, as long as you can pick it up on sale for $49.99. I think it's a good deal for an eight inch tablet, but I don't think $80 is a good deal for what we're getting here. So wait till it goes on sale. I did run a couple benchmarks. First up, we have Geekbench 4. For the single core, we only scored a 585 for multi-1757. This is on the very low end of the spectrum, but then again, this is a cheap Amazon tablet. Well, it is possible to run 3D games on this tablet. It's not really meant for high-end 3D games. Now, PUBG actually ran a lot better than I thought it would, and I'll show you that in a second. But basically, this tablet is a media consumption tablet. Netflix, Hulu, eBooks, browsing the web, checking your email, that's what these were designed to do, and they do that pretty well, especially with these stereo speakers. Sounds pretty good. Corporate has uh, deemed it appropriate to enforce an ultimatum upon me, and... Uh... So if you're looking for a cheap device to install Kodi, watch Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime videos, this is a perfect little tablet for you with that eight inch screen. I think that's a great size for this. Now it's not gonna be 4K video playback because we only have a 1280 by 800 screen, but it gets the job done quite well. Moving over to some gaming. Now I did test out PUBG because I always get asked to test this game. And to my surprise, it actually runs much better than I thought it would be. Now you're not gonna become a competitive gamer with this setup but you could play this for fun. Lower end Android games are gonna work fine on here if you wanna do some Angry Birds, some Bejeweled, or whatever the newest craze is. I found this on the top charts, I don't even know what it is, but it does run pretty good here. 
As for retro gaming on this tablet, it's on par with the Raspberry Pi. I mean, there are some N64 games that are going to work, some PSP, but for the most part, you're going to be stuck with the older stuff, NES, SNES, PlayStation 1's going to work fine. But don't expect to do Dreamcast, Naomi, a Thomas Wave on something like this. It's a low-end chip in here. But one of my favorite things to do with this tablet is attach this IPEGA 9083. I'll leave a link to Amazon in the description. Install Steam Link and stream my favorite PC games from my gaming PC to the Fire HD 8. I've already got everything configured on my main PC. This is just going to bring up my Steam library, and I can go ahead and start streaming. Now, my main PC is plugged in through Ethernet, and you're going to need a decent router, but this does have AC Wi-Fi built in, so you should be able to stream pretty well. I've had really good luck with it. I've actually been playing some GTA 5 downstairs. My main gaming PC is on the top floor. I'll just skip right into some Doom gameplay. Now, it will take a little bit of configuration with this newer controller. I'm used to using an Xbox One controller, so this feels a little weird to me, but it does work. There are settings in the Steam Link app where you can adjust everything you need, but overall, it's been working really well for me. In the end, this is a great tablet, if you can pick it up for $50. Now, normal price on this is $80, bucks, and I don't think it's worth $80, but they do put these on sale all the time. Just keep an eye on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description if you want to bookmark it. They seem to go on sale every two to three weeks, so just keep an eye, and you can definitely pick one up at that price. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.